previously on the DVD update. Uh, I'm going to take January, the, the first month of the new year, to uh, take a break, not from YouTube, but from buying movies, uh, and just let my bank, you know, get a little weight to it. So, um... Damn. Hey guys, Matt here for DVD Update 21-ish. There's a, um, as you told, can tell by the intro for this, No By January didn't quite work out how I had planned. Um, and by the way, if there is no intro and you're confused, um, I bought a lot of DVDs when I said I wasn't going to. So, lying for the win. Uh, so let's just get started. I got a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, if you're wondering about my hair, how it's different, um, I'm growing it out for a short film that I'm going to be in, my friend's short film. So yeah, hopefully I can stick with that because uh, I need long hair for it. And um, I've only tried to grow my hair out once, but I looked like a girl, so I quickly dispersed with that idea. Uh, but now, since I have a beard, I'm thinking that's going to help out. A little so I don't look like a girl anyway enough of that that's why my hair is like that that's all you need to know uh, I've been getting a lot of messages actually I think about five maybe three to five and maybe one comment or something but um uh, why don't I have why haven't I got this movie yet and uh, it's because I was waiting for it um, I was gonna buy some special edi special edition or limited editions of it but money, uh, they got sold out real fast, and money was an issue, especially since it was right around Christmas. But just so you know, yeah, I got it. Uh, the Dark Knight on Blu-rays. So yeah, comes with a digital copy. It's two disc, and it comes with a digital copy, so it's really three disc. So that's what that looks like, that's what it is. Um, back there, disc. Uno, second disc, digital copy disc. Yeah, everyone showed this already, whether it be the Blu-ray or the regular edition or all those cool limited editions that are out there and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm not going to list the special features because I'm going to try to streamline this. I wish the slipcover could easily go back on. Okay, so that was The Dark Knight on Blu-ray. Next up are two Kubrick films that I got on Blu-ray for 13 bucks a piece. So yeah, uh, first one, a really good movie. I like it a lot. I know it's not going to be for everyone, but it's a Clockwork Orange. Very cool. That's what the disc looks like. Uh, Clockwork Orange. I really like this movie. Uh, I don't have it on DVD, though. Uh, well, actually, I do, but I just copied it. So, I mean, it, it wasn't a legit DVD. What do we have here? I know we have some special features. Oh, I hate the lighting in this room. Uh, commentary by Malcolm McDowell um, and historian Nick Redman. Channel 4 documentary, still ticking, the return of Clockwork Orange. Uh, new featurette, uh, great Balshi Yarbakos. I, I'm sorry, I can't read. Making, uh, which is a making of a Clockwork Orange, basically. Career profiles, uh, career profile, Oh Lucky Malcolm which was shot in high definition, cool. So, and the theatrical trailer. So there you go, Blu-ray, uh, Clockwork Orange. Next up, another Kubrick film. I wanna, since I don't own any Kubrick films, except for Eyes Wide Shut on DVD, um, cause I got it for $3 at Big Lots. Uh, you know, I'm just said, you know, let's go with Blu-ray when, we, when we're gonna get them. So, next up is The Shining. Really good movie as well. Shelley Duvall, Jack Nicholson, The Shining. I also have I have the, uh, the made for TV mini series that they did in the 90s on DVD as well. Ah, I could take it or leave it. It wasn't that good, but this movie is great. Um, it's got some special features here. Commentary by Steadicam inventor slash operator Garrett Brown and historian John Baxter. Uh, Vivian Kubrick's documentary, The Making of the Shining, with optional commentary. Three mesmerizing new featurettes. View from the Overlook, Crafting the Shining, uh, The Visions of Stanley Kubrick, and Wendy Carlos, Composer. 
I also have the theatrical trailer. So that's The Shining on Blu-ray. Next up, for 12 bucks, Kill Bill Volume 2. So, yeah. I wanted to get um, Volume 1. They had Volume 1 for 12 bucks as well, but they were sold out almost instantly, so I got Volume 2. Uh, and I just wanted to check it out on Blu-ray. This is the French version, French Blu-ray. As you can tell by the spine here, it has Kill Bill in French. And this little... French, well, black French, and also has a reversible cover with the French, which kind of pisses me off because on the side here it has the Kill Bill and I don't know French, sorry, I can't even do a French accent by pronouncing that name, but it has them both listed on the side, yet it has, and it has the description in English and French on the back here, yet it has a reversible cover, which you can kind of see through there, with, um, that is French, the cover is French. I mean, why not just do all English, if you're going to do that, just do all English for this cover and all French for the reversible side instead of both. It's kind of redundant, if you ask me. That's Kill Bill Volume 2. I'm going to get Volume 1 probably from Amazon or something like that. It's only 20 bucks. I just, I just want to have them on Blu-ray. Um, next up is The Omega Man with Charlton Heston. Um, you know, Richard Matheson's I Am Legend. I think this is from the 70s as well. Um, Charlton Heston. Yeah, I really want to check this out. This this seems like a, a cool movie. Um, much better than I Am Legend. I didn't like I Am Legend that much with Will Smith. So that's the Omega Man Blu-ray. Um, right here, I did a review for this already. Uh, and it's Rest Stop on Blu-ray. I got this for 8 bucks, so new. So, I mean, it wasn't a big loss that the movie sucked balls, but that's Rest Stop Dead Ahead Uncut, which is the first one on Blu-ray. Um, this is Rest Stop 2, Don't Look Back, Uncut. Uh, got this for 8 bucks. Um, I also did a review of this. I don't think I posted it yet. Or maybe I have by the time you're watching this. Who knows when it'll go up. But um, I liked it slightly better than the first one, but it still sucked. I think I gave the first one a 5 out of 10. That's like a 5.5 .5 out of 10, so not that much better. Now I'm going to go to two box sets really quick. Uh, that I got for Christmas. My dad, I, like I said, the 70% deep discount sale, I gave my dad and mom a list of all the stuff that I wanted out of there. I'm like, here, go ahead. Because uh, I like the presents, some of the presents to be a surprise. So I'm, I gave him a whole list of cool stuff that was on that 70% off sale. And I'm like, you just go to town, you buy me as many as you want, as much as you want. But I did kind of prioritize them. Um, and so this is the se this was the second on my list, second from the top, if you will. So, um, and it's Battlestar Galacta, the complete epic series, um, from the 70s. Uh, I've only seen, like, one and a half episodes out of this, but, I mean, I already wanted to see the whole series. I already wanted to see it, so that's how cool it was. Um, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six discs. Check out the back there. It has a bunch of special features. Over three hours of deleted and alternate scenes. A new interview with, te with television series creator Glenn A. Larson. A 45-minute documentary on the making of Battlestar Galactica, featurette on scoring the television series, featurette on the creation of the Cylons, audio commentary for the television pilot with Richard Hatch, Dirk Benedict, and Herbert Jefferson Jr., and never-before-seen photos and drawings, and a six-disc six set. Uh, the complete original television series presented uncut in its original broadcast order. It also has the ultimate comprehensive episode guide and booklet, and, you know, it's got specs like... 5.1 surround sound, stuff like that. So Battlestar Galactica. You know, the packaging is fine. I'm cool with it. I looked at the booklet. It's a pretty cool booklet. Uh, so I'm like, cool, this set so far. It's a digipack. The set so far, here's the booklet with the episode guide. I really don't want to go through it all, but that's not going to work that way. Um, so yeah. Uh, so far, so good, right? And then I look at the discs. And I was like, gosh, dang it, why, God dang it, why do you have to do this to me? All flipper discs, all six discs are flipper discs. I can't even get it all in full frame, but there's six, six, hard to, it's just, they're going to fall out or something, something's going to happen. But yeah, all six discs flipper disc. why? Ugh, kind of makes me mad, but whatever. Uh, this is, th when this first came out, I actually did want it, because... It, it, it came in a cool packaging, a limited edition packaging, where this uh, Cylon um, helmet 
it was the actual packaging. So that was kind of cool, but you know, it's out of print by now and it was a limited edition. And I saw it at Best Buy when these first came out. I was like, oh, that, that's kind of cool. I want that. Um, before I even knew what Battlestar Galactica was because the box set was so cool. But um, yeah, that's long out of print. And it's like 70 80 to to $100 now because, you know, of collectors. But this right here is a little ray. This, let's see, it's lenticular and it's raised. So, you, so the Cylon's the helmet does like that. So yeah. Battlestar Galactica. Like I said, I, I really interested. It, it was pretty cheap, and I got free for Christmas, so that's great. Um, I don't, haven't seen. I hadn't seen that many episodes. Where do I put this?